spring and summer is time for baby season for animals. So if you see these cuties out in wildlife, do not touch them. We have awesome pictures that Diane Robinson, wildlife biologist with the Wisconsin DNR sent us. I really appreciate it. We also have Scott Deal with us. He's the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center um, at Wisconsin Humane Society and director. So he sees all all types of things. What, what's, what was the first one that you just saw recently? Oh, two days ago, uh, a baby great horned owl had fallen from its nest uh, on the south side of Milwaukee. And uh, uh, so caring people found it and brought it to us for care. And uh, Does it hurt or no? It was not badly injured, fortunately, oh, but uh, its parents were still out there. And uh, with the help of uh, a local company called Skedaddle, we were able to get them back up in a uh, get it at back up in a, uh, a surrogate nest. Actually, we put it uh, up in a uh, laundry basket, a wicker laundry basket, oh. and it'll be fine. Parents and came back to care for it. That's good. And you know, there's one thing, Diane, as we show the pictures of the cute animals. That, you know, there's a big message here. First of all, it's illegal to take some of these animals mm -hmm. and um, hold them captive, you know, and ha raise them as a pet, which I don't know why someone would do that, but w what is your other big message today? Yeah, so the big thing is that, um, you know, a lot of times you'll see um, these, these baby wild animals out there and they look like they might need help, they look like they might be alone, maybe mom isn't there, maybe you haven't seen mom and dad around, um, but a lot of times they're just fine out there in the wild. Um, there's some really cool adaptations that wild animals have. Um, so mom will leave a young baby animal um, alone for quite a while um, out in the wild. So if you don't see mom nearby, that's okay, that's normal. So it, ultimately, if you see a situation like that and you are concerned for the animal, we, re we are very, very grateful that you're concerned about that situation. So what we want you to do is call the DNR mm -hmm. or call Scott with the Wisconsin Humane Society so that you can talk to a professional to figure out exactly what you should do in that situation. Obviously with a great horned owl, definitely shouldn't be taking care of that animal in addition to the fact that it's illegal. You're not gonna mm -hmm. be able to take care of that animal because great horned owls require really specific care. Mm -hmm. um, so contact the professional so that we can help you figure out the best situation. And you were also talking about the, the new fawns, the, the, new, the new deer. Mm -hmm. Mom puts them in a certain spot and then leaves for a long time and do you get a lot of calls oh there's a there's a baby deer that's that's just sitting all alone you do we do yeah. and uh, baby cottontail rabbits it's a it's a similar thing where the mom rabbit stays away from her nest of little uh, little bunnies mm -hmm. um, to, to not attract the attention of predators to her oh, to her okay. nest okay. people will find that nest when they're doing yard work or whatever and go oh there's no mom here they must be orphaned but in reality, the mom is not far away, and she comes back like just during the nighttime about twice to feed the kids. So, wow. Um, yeah, so it's just amazing what the moms and those babies have to be able to survive. And a lot of times they don't need our help. I, I learned a lot just from talking to you guys, so I really appreciate it. We also have a call center number on your screen. It's 888-936-7463. So keep that jotted down. Um, and then share it with others. So then if you do see a baby animal, you know, you'll be able to save it. Yes, absolutely. And not take it on accident. Yes, <laughs> yes. we really want people to be able to, to help these animals and we absolutely appreciate people's concerns. And like we mentioned, they're adorable. Mm -hmm. We understand that you wanna take care of them, but the best thing to do to take care of them is to contact the professionals, whether it's at the Wisconsin Humane Society or at the DNR, or even if you're not from the Milwaukee area, going online and looking up a local wildlife rehabilitator, we have that information on the DNR website as well.